Hey, Wyoming and Santa Majority. Welcome back to drawing level one. I'm not the boss. I'd like to see you guys uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let's see if we can hit 100. But other than that, let's jump into this. Drawing level one E. Name the name of it. This just comes from naming a thing. And that being the centerpiece. So this could be, again, the name of all these things. But it's more like the name of, like, the thing. So let's say it was a discovery, right? So. so if we're going to name a discovery, let's just call it... Call it... Um, FTL and like, well, no. I was gonna say FTL like faster than I, but no. Well, let's go and name a, an actual discovery. Let's just say, let's just name a thing like this. Like, let's call something Nyre. You're like, okay, that's the name of the thing, and we're gonna call that name of the story. Now, all the questions that come up now are obvious. Like, what is it? What the? Like, does it do anything? What do? <laughs> um. How does it exist? Uh, where did it come from? Um, where is it found? And you can kind of say you can kind of do umbrella terms like, like how does it exist? It comes from, let's say, over in terms of time travel, it is a paradox or does it do anything? <laughs> let's just be funny here and just say, uh, Tethers, uh, tethers the user to a, a timeline. What do? Actually, that's the same question. What am I doing? An interview? Um, where did it come from? It's or, so then it's like, Originates from God damn it. Or is it found tracks of time? Tracks of time. And now we have all this. So now, this is your centerpiece, this is the name of your story, and then you just evolve the story around that. Let's do another one. And so that, it's like the main, the main character. Character. We have two examples of this, actually. Again, we have the Danny... Danny Phantom, uh... Uh, like, study. Like, if you come up with a great name, you can, like, drop it. You can hand this to somebody and they can expand a whole show amount of it because you can just say the name followed by a brief description of it and then that'll translate into a show. Another one we have is uh, West. <laughs> 
I swear to God. <laughs> Another one, this is the one like Butch cites as a as an pseudo inspiration, like thing that would have spurred him on to do it would have been like, oh, the name of the thing. Or we could do uh Scooby-Doo. I thought this was okay, that's explains a lot. And so on and so forth. Not that the name of the main character coincides with the name of the story, but the name of a thing, a character, a discovery, etc. These lead to expanding the world. It's like Danny Phantom. Well, we have the keyword here is ghosts. What's another ghost thing? We have Ghostbusters. Like from inspiration that we can borrow from. Um, so. And then we can say Danny. Danny gains ghost powers. In God knows what way, doesn't matter. Gets ghost powers. And now it's like fighting fighting ghosts slash uh retrieve And like that, this is how like shows expand, people. You get a concept, a brief idea, and it'll expand. It starts expanding. The expansion, the expansion here doesn't need to be good. We have done a quest. It was basically like point and click name thing. So we have like we have like. What's the word? I'm, I'm looking for a word. Hold on. I'm looking for a word that describes like mist. Okay, that's the word. <laughs> Mysteries. Mysteries. Um. Like find, finding, like personal, personal growth as a quest idea, and then it's it would evolve from there. I don't really know Johnny Quest. It was just a thing that you learn about Scooby Doo. This one was effectively. It was this. Talking dog. Talking dog. It was talking dog, and then I expanded to friends with a stoner and his high school friends. Kind of whack that this is like the consummate he goes on, and then we just have mysteries tacked on there and it's all the same in the end it's kind of neat not gonna lie um a oh, setting in world themes so for setting world themes how a single word can spawn from that so let's do theme Theme setting. Core idea here <laughs> is that don't just say the the genre. The genre is what you tack on to your series after you discover things. So if you're going to have themes, 
just make sure at least one abstract one's in there, not like, you know, friendship yet. We're not, not the friendship stage yet until you have a list of characters to put with your main character. And do this arrow thing. What else do we got? We need, ooh, what's the other word I'm looking for? Uh, what is this? Where do I put my... Where's my list? Oh my goodness. Oh, right, here we go. No. There we go. I'm going to come concepts of friendship and stuff like that until a little later. Because those are just cliches in the end. But a theme and a theme like here's a stupid idea. <laughs> I ain't one of these things, but you just have an idea of like ponies and what do you think of with ponies? You can think of like, you know, unicorns. Like various mythical creatures. And you can expand from there. It doesn't need to just delve into, you know, doesn't need to delve into fantasy, it could just be its own thing. Not like saying it's not good, but you could just have ponies and unicorns in a modern setting. Maybe you got stuff like that. You can have the setting be like the starting scene could be like the Dark Lord's castle. Why are we looking at the Dark Lord? Who gives a shit? You. This is an interesting setup idea. We could have a theme setting. A what else did I put on there? I'm just trying to see what else I put on there so I can just nail them all. Towns and locations. Again, just the name of a city we can have. Like how a name can spur a thing. We can just have. What's a really good one? We can have. No, I don't know that one. Ooh. Like a word that spurs a thing and it's just a setting. I had the resident at one point, but I'm gonna use like an existing one to help. Why am I not why am I drawing a blank on a city? Cause I don't want to just default to Futo in um in Common Rider W again. I don't want to default to that one in Bamba. Another example for you guys of a, like a location or a city. Oh wait, <laughs> Gotham. I'll, I'll buy my own. So, you can start with like a city where the entire premise of the city is that. Trouble starts there. Now, I don't know how Batman actually start, started. If it was saying Gotham City or New York City was a place of lawless crime, then... Well, then uh, you needed a hero to save that city. That's how that would happen. The reason why it's called Batman is because Bruce Wayne is the Batman in Gotham City to save the, mat, to save the day. So, naming that makes sense. And then if you were to make up one, like make up a town, it's like... It's, it's the... Like we're looking at... Let's just say, no. Like... Rosnian Penitentiary, and suddenly we can have a 
a story about this penitentiary and how it affects the cellmates in there. Okay, we have Discovery, we have the main character, we have themes. Concept. Now let's go to this concept real quick. So we're going to like start with that concept. I want to talk about uh, I know for a fact the name of this thing come first. The concept was literally anime characters whose whose names reflect fairy fairy tales um darkish horror Turkish horror vibes. Everyone is in jail. Very stereotypical uh, self actualization here. We have the main character, we have themes, we have concepts. I am missing one. I had five, didn't I? Oh, that was that. So, all these would come before the, um, the actual story took place. Do you want to just have a decent concept to start with on uh, on your pitch and it'll expand from there whatever story you're putting through expands from there and I want to dive into another like topic which I'll delve into with Prominently, like, Danny Phantom again. Just to hone this in. Character name. Um, could set you on the right path. A discovery of an event. Could be the title of your series. Could be the crux of your series. It doesn't have to actually be the name of the series. Um, dumb, dumb concepts can be... The next thing and your theme and setting isn't your genre it's not friendship it's literally you want to have a bullet of um stuff in there and it could be anything and then it's like it could be a location etc and it's all framed in here in a text document So taking this in for a mini look back, we have what I addressed as level zero was just me going over bits and pieces of of information. My god, why am I so burpy all of a sudden? It is not my character at all. Now, I'm going to say this. It'd be cool if you said... If we just took, like, a Tolkien example. <laughs> Tolkien example. What talking idea. If you took a... J.R. J.R. Tolkien... Idea. If, if we could just say... I'm writing a fantasy. Fantasy setting. 
you got to expand hard on that. Because that's such a broad topic. And whatever else you want to bring in there, it's going to be a little tougher for you to expand on that than just saying, well, I'm going to do a series on a metal. Whereas instead, I'm in, I'd recommend saying, well, a metal rants, rants. Telekinetic abilities to its holder. To its holder. This. And thus, the name of your series becomes the name of the thing. And now, and now we can expand with on, uh, uh, camera, camera in the hands of, let's say, Let's give a name here. The hands of when the hell spoke. And me and only. What the that defense mechanism um uh, only rise to she tries to not to not use it even in the it's a great odds taking great lengths to get her to use it um, recreationally. And there we go, we have like a solid story here. I need to commit to this, but. In a in a recreational way, to keep it like that. And now we have the name of the thing, a character, and her morals. And it'll expand further beyond that. Where are we? When are we? And we're going to tune in next time for when we revisit and start making a character, making a setting, making a concept, making those discoveries. I won't be generating names for things, but we're going to be delving into stuff like that. This is just the generation process right here. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I am having such a blast with this series, actually. Even though no one's watching it, I'm having such a blast. Just going over my thoughts on recreating something.
Because then we're going to make something un unique. And I'll start a story here. I'll actually start a story. Maybe I'll publish it. Who knows? You'll see me tomorrow around... Oh my god. What is my timeline here? Uh... My... Um, all right, yeah. You can find me on my Twitch in the description tomorrow writing for writing something. You can follow me on Twitch and I'll be live starting around 1.30 ET, uh, Eastern Standard Time, roughly, 1 o'clock, I'm hopeful. Till next time, that's all the time we're having today. Okay, ciao.